The System File Checker, or SFC, is a tool to scan for and attempt to repair corrupted Windows files. To run an SFC scan, we first need to open an administrative command prompt on your computer. You can do that in a couple of different ways. The easiest way is by searching for it. Click on your search bar or start button and type in CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. If prompted for user account control, click on yes. Once you have an administrative command prompt open, which can be verified by where it shows C slash Windows slash System32, you're now ready to run your SFC scan. The first step is running the Deployment Image Servicing and Management, or what is known as the DISM tool, or DISM tool. Basically, the DISM scan will download files via Windows Update, and it will use those files to repair your computer. Type or copy in the following command. DISM.exe slash online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health. You can find this prompt in the description below. Then press enter on your keyboard. Once you press enter, it may take a few seconds to begin processing. Once started, the process will take some time to complete and a loading bar will display to show progress. Once you've run DISM, which will be indicated by the bar showing 100% progress, you can start the system file checker or SFC scan. On a new line in the same command prompt window, type or copy in SFC slash scan now, and then press enter on your keyboard. Progress will be displayed on the screen. Once it finishes, it will tell you if it detected any errors and whether they were repaired or not. You may be prompted to restart your computer to complete a pending system repair before running an SFC scan. If you are, go ahead and restart your computer like we are prompted to do so here. If you are not prompted to restart your PC or after reopening a command prompt window after restarting, your SFC scan will begin, and you will see the progress as the scan progresses. This may take some time to complete. Once the scan is complete, you may be prompted to restart your computer to fix any issues the scan has found. Otherwise, you'll get a message like the one shown here, which says Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. And that's all there is to run these scans. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tech support videos from your local micro center.